This is Malkley with Income Lab. This video will walk you through a demo of the Income Lab software and showcase how the software is allowing advisors to revolutionize the way they are getting their clients to and through retirement. So to start off, let's look at our main dashboard here. The main dashboard is a great snapshot to really address some of the main questions clients have around retirement, like what will I have? What can I afford to spend? And what happens if things change? So right away from this main dashboard, we can help clients understand how much they'll have in their balance at retirement, or if they're cur currently retired, how much they have in their balance right now. Then we can look at the spending capacity here to really help clients understand how much they can afford to spend in retirement or how much they will be getting in their retirement paycheck. You can click into the spending capacity here and really break down for the client where that money is coming from. So we can show them how much is coming from social security, how much is coming from other income sources like pensions, rental incomes, wide range of sources here that you can model, as well as how much is then coming from their portfolio withdrawals and which accounts they're pulling from. In plans where you may have an annuity built in, you'll also be able to address how much of that is coming from the annuity and you'll see a reference as protected income here, just highlighting that that portion of their income is guaranteed since it's coming from that annuity. Then we can click the X button here to minimize and get right back to our main dashboard. Next, you'll see the middle section here, which are the guardrails in the plan and really help advisors to relieve the anxiety clients have around failing in retirement to help them better understand that we don't fail in retirement, we adjust, and the guardrails allow us to see what our plan for adjustment is. Let's click view more to explore the guardrails a little bit deeper. So first on the left side of the guardrails, we can help clients understand how much they currently have in their portfolio and what would have to happen to that portfolio for an adjustment to be needed. So here we can see in this case, if the portfolio here increased by 4%, then we can have a conversation about increasing income but what most clients are worried about is things going bad in retirement. So here we can point out that in this case, their portfolio would have to decrease 23% for us to then have that conversation about decreasing our income. Then on the right side of the guardrails, we can really speak to how much of an adjustment they will need once they hit the guardrail. So on the top side here, if we hit that upper guardrail, then we'll have, have the opportunity to increase our income here by about 5%. However, on the decrease side, if we do hit this guardrail, we will have to decrease our income here by about 5% or $490. One of the main things our advisors see here is that clients are relieved to know that if they do need to make an adjustment here, it's a minor adjustment to really get them back on track. In addition here on the guardrails, you'll see your guardrail settings at the bottom. By default, the software here will plan for a moderate spending level. However, this really allows you to factor in how aggressive or conservative clients want to be in their spending. We can go all the way down to the most conservative setting here. Think of this conservative setting as clients who really want to put that plan on autopilot. They'd rather spend less money now, knowing that there's a lower chance of adjusting. And when it's time to adjust, we're much closer to the upper guardrail here. So we can plan to have more increases when those adjustments are needed. Versus on the most aggressive setting here, think of those clients as your clients who want to live their best life. They don't mind spending more now, meaning that if they have a higher spending now, there is a higher chance of adjustment, but maybe they're okay with possibly having to decrease later down the line when they're older, but they would prefer to live their best life now while they can. Next, we can click the X box here to get right back to the dashboard. From there, Let's move into our retirement stress test. In the stress test, with the stress test here, you are able to stress test the client's plan through some of the worst times in recorded history and better speak to how the plan may need to adjust along the way. I'm going to go to a different plan here that we have pre-built. And so first here in the stress test, we can help clients see how the plan would experienced a global financial crisis, the dot-com bubble, stagflation era, going all the way back to the Great Depression. For this example, we'll stay with the global financial crisis. As you scroll down, you can first see 
how the income would have been experienced during the stage. The light blue line is showing what the plan would have called for, not knowing the global financial crisis would occur. And then the dark blue path shows us the real life income experience that clients would have had experiencing this period and making adjustments to stay on track. So here we can help our clients understand that, hey, if we did hit a period like the 08 global financial crisis, this plan would call for about an $870 decrease. However, what's nice here is you can help clients understand that this decrease is not for forever. We ride out that decrease for a while, and then eventually once we hit the upper guardrail here, we can even increase income back up and potentially even increase income beyond what the initial plan would have called for. Below here, we can also reference this from the guardrails. So here helping clients see how their balance and the guardrails adjusted during this period. So here we can again show our clients making that adjustment because we hit that lower guardrail here, but then riding that adjustment out and waiting until we hit the upper guardrail before we know it's safe to then increase the income. This is a great way to reassure clients who are especially nervous about running into bad times in their plan to better understand the level of adjustment they can expect if things don't go as planned and to reassure them that it's not doom and gloom for forever, but you'll also eventually be able to increase back up. One of the great parts about this software is that it always, it also lets you compare strategies side by side. And so here in the guardrails, we can put a plan into this section here and compare it. So let's say, for example, we have advisors who maybe are working with clients who are maybe wondering about the impact of an annuity in a plan. We can go back to our baseline plan here and compare that to our plan without the annuity. And for example, this helps advisors to visually help clients understand in gold, here's our plan with the annuity. The blue is without the annuity. And we can see that without the annuity, we do have to make those decreases. However, with the annuity, we're actually protected in these downside markets. And we more or less keep our income level until later on, we actually get to start increasing the income sooner in the plan with the annuity. So again, helps you to have a great visual for clients to understand the impact of potentially having an annuity in their plan. If you're even helping clients understand maybe how different annuities impact their plans, you can click the A button here to specifically stress test that annuity in here in the plan here. So if we go back to our baseline plan with that annuity we saw on our dashboard, we can specifically highlight that annuity here and show the clients how that specific annuity performed in this period. So addressing how the income was experienced as well as any step ups that occurred along the way or even at the bottom here, helping them understand how their balance decreases during this period, but how the benefit base is maintained and even increases even though the balance goes down. If you're even wanting to compare two annuities to help clients understand maybe which annuity makes sense for them, we can easily compare another annuity that we've already entered into the plan here in a different scenario. So for example, if we've got a variable annuity here, we can put those side by side and again, help the clients understand how two annuities side by side would perform or work in this case. So here may be addressing that we do get that higher level of income with the fixed index annuity and potentially get more step ups as well versus with, in this case, this variable annuity that we've entered. Okay, that is our stress test here. Again, really great feature here to help reassure clients how that their plan can stomach bad times in history but also really addressing for them the size of adjustments they would have had to make along the way. Next, we can look at optimizing this plan for taxes. So in the tax lab here, Income Lab will run different tax strategies for you and make it easy to really streamline your plan tax planning process. So that way you can quickly analyze, compare different strategies and help clients find the right strategy that makes the most sense for them. As soon as you get into the tax lab, Think of this as a playground where we're going to quickly compare and analyze those strategies. So as soon as we get in here, the software has already identified an optimal strategy here under the what if section, and it's just going to compare it to a non Roth strategy, just following a standard withdrawal order of first taking our taxable funds first, then our tax deferred, then our tax free. You can quickly open the strategy box here to select different strategies to compare or you can click view strategies to open up the full list here, allowing you to quickly analyze all the different strategies the software will run. We can look at non Roth strategies where we're just pulling, focusing on the tax ordering of the accounts. So first taking our taxable accounts, 
then our tax deferred, then our tax free. We can see any ordering there by the tax status. And then as we scroll down here, we can also see the Roth conversion strategies where the software is running Roth conversions, filling it up to either the marginal tax brackets here, or if you're focusing on optimizing for IRMA brackets, you'll also see the IRMA bracket strategies here where you can run Roth conversions, but here optimizing for IRMA bracket. You can select any strategies here on your what if and select any strategies here to compare. Once you selected those, click the X and then that takes you right back to this page. Here in the tax lab, you've got some great sections here to really compare the lifetime impacts of these strategies here. So first in our statistics, we can help clients understand how much the Roth conversions in this case will lower their average tax rate here, how much it will save them in total taxes. What does that mean as far as how much it'll increase in their net income over the life of the plan, as well as how much they'll see or leave behind in their net legacy. For clients who are more visual, you can go to your total taxes section here and visually lay those plans side by side, looking at the total taxes paid in each year. As we hover, we can show the clients in blue is our Roth conversion strategy where we'll pay higher taxes early with those Roth conversions. But then we can see that once we're done by 2029, our tax bill is low and stays low through the rest of the plan versus without our Roth conversions, following just the tax will tax deferred tax free strategy, we do pay less taxes up front, but then eventually our tax bill goes up when RMDs start to kick in. For clients who are more technical, you can always open up a table view below and present this in more of a traditional spreadsheet style format. One of the questions advisors ask or clients ask advisors is how long do we have to live for those Roth conversions to have been a good long-term decision? So one of the great spots in the software here is we can go right to our break even section and really address those questions of how long until they break even between these strategies. And so here we can help these clients understand that in this case, we'll break even in 2046. And it really allows you to address the long-term impacts of these plans to help clients understand if it also makes sense as far as their longevity is concerned. Next, we can go to the explore section here in the tax lab and really dive deeper into a specific strategy. You can select any year of the plan here to go to that specific year. Once you do, you'll see a great tax brackets visual here that allows you to really speak to how their income is filling up the tax brackets in a given year and how the Roth conversions fill the rest of the gap to optimize for that bracket. So here we can show the clients our ordinary income sources filling up first and then our Roth conversions filling up the top. And since in this case, we're actually optimizing for our IRMA brackets, we can show that we're going to do the Roth conversions up to the top of the IRMA bracket three here. As I scroll down, you'll also be able to see the estimated action section here, which gives you an easy way to speak to where you're pulling the funds from. And if you have any situations where you're adding funds into specific accounts, how much you're adding into those accounts. So here we can see in this year, we're gonna pull 25,000 from our taxable accounts, pull 349 from our tax deferred, but we're making an 11,000 addition into those tax deferred accounts as well. And in our tax free, we're actually making a $271,000 addition, which is due to our Roth conversions. You'll have a great table view here at the bottom if you'd like to view all the years at once in a more detailed spreadsheet style format. In the tax lab, you can also quickly address the taxes that will be paid in more detail. So here we're not only looking at FICA tax, we've got ordinary tax in here as well, long-term capital gains tax, net investment tax, we're automatically calculating Medicare IRMA, and we're automatically including any state taxes as well. And we can open the table view at the bottom here to address those in detail and even speak to the total taxes in each year, gross total income, and the effective total tax rate in each year. Once you've found the right strategy for your clients, you can quickly click apply the selected strategy to plan to have the software now use your optimal strategy going forward. And then from the tax lab, that leads us to our LifeHub feature here. LifeHub really makes it easy to bring all of the different parts of the plan into one interactive visual here where we can help clients understand how their situation looks this year, but also how it may change along the way. 
Life, Life Hub being interactive makes it really easy for advisors to control the conversation here. So if I want to first highlight just the investment accounts, I can click open those investment accounts for our clients. And if I wanted to then expand out the plan, you can click these sections at the top to then lay out the plan and help the client see their full scenario on one page. As I mentioned, LifeHub is fully interactive. So if we wanted to, let's say, make a quick edit here to our fixed index annuity, for example, we can click that section and our options and our settings will open here on the right. And then you can click annuity settings, for example, to enter more of your details about this annuity, like the benefit base, the guarantee withdrawal amounts. You can factor in how the benefit will increase during deferral as well as during the withdrawal phase. You can factor in any crediting methods and any fees as well. Save when you're done and then you can save again to quickly have your inputs go right back into your plan. Another area where we see advisors who will kind of have conversations with clients is around Social Security. And with Income Lab, we also make it easy to factor in Social Security. So here, if I click on our Social Security module, we can quickly help clients understand, well, if they're already currently receiving, we can use the manual option to put in when they started and how much they're currently receiving. However, where for clients who aren't currently taking it, we can use the estimate option here. Right back into this. We can use the estimate option here and then either enter their primary insurance amount from their statement, their benefits at specific dates, or use annual income to model and calculate their social security benefits. Once you select calculate options, you'll have a slider here. And so if we look at our slider for Tammy on the right, we can show taking as early as possible 62, not getting the full benefit amount here, but in some cases where clients are wondering about taking it as early, you can quickly show how much they'll get. We've calculated every month along the way. We can click the green icon here to quickly go to their full retirement age or show even deferring all the way out to 70. The software will include a break even age here as well. So that way you're also able to address the questions for clients here of if we wait till 70, how long do we have to live for that to have been a good long-term decision, which we can address here with this break even. You can click save when you're finished to save your inputs. In addition, in LifeUp, if you have different scenarios here as well, you can open those up. So let's say if I have a plan where maybe the clients were wanting to model more uh, large expenses or just more goals in their plan, we can quickly open up that plan here. And what's neat in LifeHub is not only are we looking at this year, but when we have cases where clients have really unique uh, milestones along the way, we can see all those light up here in the timeline. So here we can point out that maybe we're planning on starting a special vacation in 2026. We can point out when Social Security will start for Tim, when they're planning on paying off their car or their home. And this can be a wide range of inputs um, that clients may have. So clients are maybe wanting to put some money away for a kid's education or for a wedding, all of that will show up here on the milestones. And then you can use the timeline to show the clients how this goes and changes year by year. What's neat here is if I also had a Roth conversion plan where I was running those Roth conversions, I can quickly go to that plan and on the fly here, I can show those clients exactly how much we will pull from Roth conversions in a given year and which accounts we'll take from and which accounts we're going to convert into. So here we can see that for Tim, we're gonna take 158 for his 401k and put that into his Roth. And we're gonna take 132 for Tammy's RRA and put it into her Roth. Really making it easy to help clients understand how you're executing Roth conversions, for example. And with the timeline, we can play that out for them and show them once we're done with the Roth conversions, not only are our expenses low and our taxes are low, but we can show them that our taxes stay low throughout the plan. Your clients will certainly want a printout of this life up screen. So here you can click this box and quickly hit generate report to turn whatever you have presented here in life up into a great one page plan for your clients. We do have a report center where you can build more detailed clients, more detailed plans and customize those templates as well. And if you're looking to streamline your planning process, you can also take advantage of all of our integrations in the software. 
to really bring those data in from outside sources to again streamline your planning. That's it. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope this helps and please reach out to our team if you're interested in checking out Income Lab or trying us out for your clients.